Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to the adventures of Tits McGiggleson, I mean Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, in Crush Cause. That's where they take big things and crush people, right? They're serial crushers? Or am I thinking of Boondock Saints? I like her shirt on the left. Fashion Paul. <laughs> Ashley, there's Courtney. Courtney! Okay, everyone. In case you haven't figured it out, I'll be substituting for Miss Washington today. She's instructed me to have you pick partners for your final projects and take you to World Wonders Miniature Golf for a different perspective on history. Woo! So, before you board the bus, write your name and your first choice for a partner on a piece of paper and put them in the box. I'll announce the teams after we come back. Courtney, how about coughing up the rest of our note? Oh, sure, Mary Kate. Oops, so sorry. What a bitch. Good luck in your hands on that one. See you at the links. What will we do now, Mary Kate? Golf anyone? That teacher seemed to be really proud of her bally high shirt. Ah, history. One of the essential building blocks to a thorough education. Speaking of building blocks, did you know that the Great Pyramid in Egypt is nearly 50 stories high? Builders used almost 2.3 million stone blocks to build the Great Pyramid, each one weighing an average 5,000 pounds. Luckily, you're not there to build any pyramids. Your task is quite simple, really. Send your ball into that pesky little hole. Why not give it a try? Not the first time I've tried to get my balls in a hole. What? Hey, Ashley, you want to hear a joke? Okay. Why was the Egyptian sad? I don't know why. Because he couldn't find his mummy. <laughs> I don't get it. You are so dumb, Ashley. Which way do I go? Oh, a magic! The power of demon tornado compels you, balls! Get in the hole. Well, she was trying to fly around too. Do not be stuck! Alright, let's get it in. I wish you would have gone and played miniature golf when I was in school. All right, I won. Good for you, uh, Mary Kate. You're a hero. Oh, wait, actually, I was actually um, swinging the balls around. What's our next history lesson, teacher? What were they thinking when they built this place? I don't know. Looks rather strange, doesn't it? What? Though the true purpose of Stonehenge is still a subject of debate, many believe that the prehistoric rock formation was created to serve as a simple daily calendar. Others feel that Stonehenge is the work of aliens. Do you? Watch the rock formations of Stonehenge carefully and you may spot a clear path to the hole. This is a horrible, horrible teacher. Oh, uh, was Stonehenge? I don't know. Maybe aliens did it. What do you think? I think you're a dumb teacher. God damn it, aliens! Just trying to play with my Stonehenge balls. God dang it! No, 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 get back here! Okay, I thought Stonehenge was moving faster than it was. Is this where we're gonna fail out? Is, are the little parts like. Could a dwarf trample those? Oh, we got three. Oh, rejected. For my dating life. Quit making fun of me, you dirty birds. Yes! No! Are you kidding me? Do they all stop when she's moving? They just disappeared. It was the work of aliens. Shut up. God damn. No, no, no. Stop. We have to get, I think it's a C or better to pass? Aw. Uh. I don't think you should be playing golf in the middle of a storm. Our teacher is horrible. 
Might be aliens, I don't know. I was storming. Take this piece of metal and just go play with it. That hitbox was ridiculous. You saw it hit the edge. Well, it didn't really even hit the edge, if you ask me. Finally, thank God. What was that, like a million strokes? I stroke it a million times for a boy. Uh, an F? An F for fuck you. Fuck you so hard, game? This, this history lesson better be better than the last one was. Might have been aliens, huh? Our next stop is at the Great Wall of China, which was built by the China. Ming Dynasty in the 15th and 16th centuries. The Great Wall stretches an amazing 1,500 miles along China's northern border. Did you know that the Great Wall is not a single continuous wall? No, it isn't. It actually consists of many walls and towers that leave open passages in various places. A heavy smack to your ball should send it ricocheting towards its next destination. Good luck! A heavy smack to my balls will send me riveting towards the ground. Is riveting even the right word? Raining towards the ground. I like when she's like, no it's not. And also, she knows like nothing about Stonehenge, but she's a resident expert on the Great Wall of China. Come on, keep dropping them balls. That's not the way I meant to phrase it, but whatever. Can we walk off the edge? I have no urge to live anymore. No. Man, so many people would die on this hole. Something down there. Come on, please go in the hole. We need some really good scores. What the hell? This is the worst drop ever. We need some really good scores to make up for that F earlier. Mary Kate, do you think it's wrong if I pleasure myself with this golf club? Ew, no, Ashley! Too late. Oh. As you can tell by the way I was trying to aim it, the aim on this thing is horrible. Those were my two choices. Here goes nothing. Yes! Yes, I did it! Aw, oh, crap, I sound like her now. We got a B. That's averaging out to a C, so we just need to do well on what, what uh, the holes we got left. I got a hole left. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Am I going to start hitting on myself in the creepy voice? Oh, man, I'm lonely. Here we have a faithful recreation of the Mayan ruins found in Tikal, Guatemala. The artistry of the Mayans is simply breathtaking. Don't you agree? The Mayan civilization is responsible for many of the beautiful stone pyramids, temples, and sculptures that have been discovered throughout present-day Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. All places they once lived long ago. The object of this course is as mysterious as the Mayans themselves. What? Aim for one of the smaller temples and your ball will magically transport itself towards the hidden hole. See that pyramid, Mary Kate? That's where they would have sacrificed their victims and the blood would have flown out freely like when I'm on my period. Ew, and no, that was the Aztecs, not the Mayans. <laughs> you said Aztec. That is not what I said. Is that like astronaut sciences for asses? Mm, astronaut Barbie's back. You're screwing up, Mary Kate. Shut up! I am doing my best! That dead part looks kinda like a mouth. Do you think I could make out with it to practice for boys? No, you're gonna get us kicked out again like when you were making out with that mannequin at the store? That was hot. Why did they make my love go away? I just wanted to have little plastic babies with it. Uh, that is not how genetics work. My babies. My babies. My babies. <laughs> Yeah! Suck on that, Mayans! A C? I think a C is what I need. If not, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna throw this controller around the room like I'm... <laughs> I don't know, somebody with good discipline? Congratulations, you've reached the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic is the second largest of our planet's four oceans. On October 12, 1492, 
While in search of a direct sea route from Europe to Asia, Christopher Columbus unintentionally discovered the Americas. Quite a lucky fellow, that Columbus. Check to see which of the ocean's currents will sail your ball on a similar journey. Yeah, how about you watch where my balls go? That'll be a fun journey. Um, come on, get on the damn ball, girl. Look at that giant gaping hole, just like Courtney. Ha, <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. Her vag is probably so big, you could drive a train through it. I'd like to drive a train through it. What? Choo choo. <laughs> I'm a train lady, man. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Ah, icebergs to get the Titanic. Giant girls spotted playing golf off the East Coast. Be careful you don't hit into New York. You could crush it with your giant balls. Come on, keep going. No, 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 no. Son of a bitch, Currents. Do not touch my balls, Iceberg. I mean, it's been a long time since anybody has, but still, keep your hands to yourself. Oh no! No, don't touch that! Whoa, I meant to do that! Please don't go in the hole. I was trying to ride the current into the flag. As you can see, that worked out spectacularly not. Uh oh. This hole might literally sink us. No iceberg puns intended. America! See, let's see if that passes. Oh, we needed a beer better? Suck a dick. Suck a dick. Suck a dick. Suck a dick. Hole in one, more like hole in me. Is that a pickup line? Oh yeah, I'm gonna pick up all them boys. Mmm, -mm. delicious. Holy crap, I actually did get a hole in one. I was just goofing around. And our last two teams are Mary Kate and Ashley. And. Hmm. Strange. Oh, uh, and let's see. Byron and Courtney. Oh. oh, Courtney, do you believe in destiny? Don't you worry about a thing. I'll schedule and plan out the whole project. Let's see, there's calculations and diagrams. Looks and like Courtney has more problems than just keeping that note from us. I don't know. Byron and Courtney forever? Kind of has a ring to it. Yeah, like a fire alarm. <laughs> Let's get the note. No names, Ashley. This is getting too much. Hey, Mary Kate and Ashley. We hope we haven't waited too long to ask, but would you two like to hang out? At the beach this. Let us know. Hope it's yes. See you. School Beach, Saturday B. His story? What about her story? Uh, this is a, this poster is oppressing me? Oh, I'd like a boy to oppress me. You know, he could choke me a little bit. Put his dick in my butt. Ew, you're oh, so hi, gross, Ashley. Hi, have any of you seen Courtney? I'm sorry. Check out some of the classrooms in this hall. Who the hell's talking to me? <laughs> Have you seen Can Courtney? Can I help you, Mary Kate? You didn't happen to see Courtney? Uh, no, not today. I hope you and your sister are planning to help with the beach cleanup project. I hope you don't die soon, old man. Ha, ah, you're gonna. Where the hell do I go? Uh, let's see. We finished the sophomore hall. Can we? Is the other one open? Junior, senior hall. Oops. Apparently, she likes to walk into walls. She's not so bright. Oh, perverted janitor. Hello, Mary-Kate. You didn't happen to see Courtney? No. Sorry, Mary-Kate. Dude, isn't it a little weird that your broom looks a lot like your mustache? I bet he grew a giant mustache and turned it into a broom. Sexual assault! Sexual assault! Oh, he can assault me anytime. I hope he doesn't insult me. Oh, I have sensitive feelings. No, please don't be cheerleader practicing. This isn't where I'm meant to go. Oh, sexy pose. That's the pose I do all the time. 
when I wear my beautiful dress and then people run away. I'm like, why can't you love me? Hey, Mary Kate, don't look back, but there's Courtney. Oops, I looked. She's heading into the sports challenge. Hi, I'm sorry, but this area isn't open yet. It's reserved for student testers only. Well, that's why we're here. We're... Uh, yeah. We hope we're not late. <laughs> they sent us over from the school. Great. Let me explain what you'll have to do. We're all ears. Okay, look. There's three games that need testing. When you beat the high score in the first one, then you can move on to the next. When you're done with all three, you're free to go. Sounds simple enough. Right. The quicker we get done, the quicker we can get back to finding Courtney. Good plan. Let's play ball. Oh, I'm going to play with all the balls. <laughs> You're weird, Ashley. That's gross. I'm going to put them in a sock and smack them. I don't think boys are going to like it. What am I supposed to be doing? I'm just throwing balls everywhere. I want balls everywhere. <laughs> um, cool. Where's my score so I know what high score I'm supposed to be? I don't think this game was very well designed. I just started killing fish. Cool. I think I was... Cool. Having some trauma from before. Come on, get that. Is that a high score? Yeah, we did it! Oh, god damn it. Cool. You're really good with balls, Ashley. Oh, I know. God damn it! Hit the damn ball! Oh, kill the pirates. Don't get too excited there, Mary Kate and Ashley. I would like to imagine there's a little shitty band playing that music in the background. They're like, we finally got the carnival gig! My mom's gonna be so proud. I'm gonna get all the ladies. Awesome. Man, right. this game. Oddly enough, this is probably the best part of the game. This is the first part of the game that actually resembles a game. Ooh, suck my balls, pirate ship! Come back! You salty sailors, you want some salty balls? Mmm, salty balls sound delicious. What the fuck? I didn't get enough? Screw you, game! And what, am I supposed to hit the blue ones? At no point did you tell me that! Murder fish! Die, all you fish! I'm gonna avoid the blue ones, because before they keep saying no to the blue. Cool. Um. Oh, almost got it. What do you mean, almost got it? You hit the damn thing! Oh, why did I hit it? It's just, it, there's nothing else left to hit! Fine, we got it. Okay, now we know what we're doing at least, right? Don't hit the blue ones, even if you've hit everything else. Die, fish, die! Gordon's fisherman has sent me. Can I hit the ship? Does that matter? I don't think the ship is worth anything. I'm just like, cool. Oh no, now I'm talking like them! I've been infected by the Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen disease. So now I'm gonna be doing really shitty videos <laughs> about me and myself, like the Patty Duke show or something. Did I miss at the, the beginning though, where they said the blue was not good to hit? Or is this game just like, fuck you to everybody? Cool. I bet this was really awesome. hard for Mary-Kate and Ashley to awesome. record. Get in the zone, Mary-Kate and Ashley. Cool! Awesome! Sound you by these takes, they didn't do multiple takes. They are like, nailed it. Let's go home. 50! Suck it! Oh, almost hit that. Didn't want to hit the giant blue balls. Oh! -ho. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah. I think the pirate ship is just to get in the way. They're like, kill us, kill us, Mary Kate. We're so sad. I'll murder you all, you delicious. Oh, God damn it. Come on, you. Cool. Lovely lady, hit these. Is 
is like my dream last night. Balls were everywhere. <laughs> Look at that moonwalking pirate thing. It's a ship, Super Paul. I know what a ship is. I played Sid, Sid Meier's Pirates. Cool. I admire any of you guys who are still watching this cool. LP. I should edit this out, but I think it would make this just like an 80-hour episode. Oh, no, 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 hit the blue fish. Oh, that fish was so happy. He had one day until retirement. And Mary-Kate murdered him. There's gonna be a whole school of fish. It's gonna be sad. Cool. No! All right. I'm actually enjoying this part of the game. If the rest of the game were, was this good, I don't know. Awesome. I didn't show it. Cool. It's kind of like old Nintendo games when they first started coming out. Okay, we got 29. I hit a blue. We got a bunch of yellow. 61. It's got to be enough, right? Hell yeah. Ball master. Well, everybody, that's the end of this episode. Next time, we'll do treasure cunt. Take it easy, everybody. <laughs>